microbes are here. Oh my god, I like, I'm gonna throw up right now. I'm like so unwell. Like, the, I have only seen samples, and so from my last samples, there were edits that needed to be made. So I'm freaking out. But these are not like the robes, like I'm not gonna be fulfilling all the orders, obviously. These are the influencer gifting. So I'm gonna give these to influencers. Ah! Oh my God, guys. Okay, I'm gonna take the cart downstairs and then we're gonna open it. I can't even believe this is my life right now. Like, I'm so fucking nervous. Oh God, okay. So it looks like they're saying the sizes Okay, 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 okay. The reason I'm so nervous, y'all, is like, I just wanna make sure that they're perfect, you know? Like, I don't want them to be anything less than I imagined. So, I just need to say like a prayer. Woo, my success is inevitable. My affirmations are, woo, girl, okay. First look. Okay, here they are in their bed. These are them in their bags. These are the bags they come in. It says two. It says cancel your plans on the other side. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, and the camera's about to die. Holy shit. Okay, okay, oh, so soft. Like literally they feel like you're sticking your hand into like a like flower or something. Ah! Oh my god. And the, the button was fixed and it's perfect. Oh my god, I'm so happy. <sighs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And they come and they're like, ah! okay, 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 I'm so happy. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, sorry, y'all, that was so chaotic, but hello. If you are new to the vlogs, hi, welcome. My name's Alexis Barber. I'm 23 and I live between Brooklyn and LA and I just started my own business. And I am been share I've been sharing with you all the behind the scenes of what it's like to start this product line. And today I just got my first like big shipment of orders, or not orders, of my influencer gifting product and it's perfect things are like there's little minor changes that I want to make to the packaging in the future, but overall things are looking so good. I'm so happy, I'm so, um, I feel so crazy right now, like I feel so anxious and insane at the moment. I'm still on PTO, tomorrow's my last day of PTO, like I'm actually so, I can't even, I don't even know where the time went. There's so much to be done, but there's also so much I've gotten done. Right now I am headed to the, whew, hold on, I just like need to calm down. I had lunch. I cleaned my apartment to try to like calm my body down, but there's just so much pent up energy and it's hard for me to focus when I feel this anxious. So I was like, okay, let me go on a walk. And while I go on my walk, I'm going to ship the robes to, two of the robes to a photographer in Minneapolis. So if you guys are interested in starting your own product line or whatever, and you want professional photography, there is a brand called Suna, S-O-O-N-A, and they actually do e-commerce for photography for like a flat fee and so I have like good lifestyle photography but when it comes to product photography that's something I wanted to outsource and so I'm trying them out but you got to obviously ship them the products so they can take the picture so I'm gonna go do that and then when I come home I'm gonna be planning content for the rest of the next few weeks so that tomorrow I can film everything before I go back to work on Monday and on Monday I have so much work I'm gonna have to catch up on and I want to relax tomorrow me and Jeff are gonna be doing so much work on the business he's got to do some shipping negotiations you got to do website stuff so there's much to be done um, I'm like so frantic right now but let's go to the post office which is gonna be my new home apparently Hey girly pops, tis the evening. I still feel like an anxious mess. I still feel crazy, but that's just, that's how you know you're doing something right, <laughs> period. So 
so much has come through information wise today and I just feel like so overwhelmed but I am headed to dinner with my friend Zara. It's put on my, by my friend Kiana. Who is, she's really cool. She is a buyer at Chanel. Can you believe that? Like those types of people exist and they're black women, period. So once again, I'm feeling like my hairline is uneven. Humiliating. But I am still feeling just like all over the place. So I didn't want to go to this. Last night I was invited to a black TikTok event and I RSVP'd, like had fully planned on going and going with Jazz, but I just felt too anxious to go. And that's the reality of being an anxious mess sometimes. And I knew I couldn't do three nights out and it's not that like I, I didn't prioritize this dinner because it probably would have been smarter for me to go yesterday and meet people than tonight, but I just, was listening to my body and I did it. I couldn't do it, so. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to go. I'm not in my cutest outfit. I'm not feeling like the baddest bitch on the planet, but I really don't need to. At this point, like, I genuinely, I've given up on so much. Like, I'm so, <laughs> guys, like, the, me a year ago would never have skipped out on a TikTok sponsored event, you know? But it's just my priorities change and my priority right now is my mental health so that I can show up later on and that's why I choose what I choose. Anyway, I took those packages to Suna, or I shipped them to Suna, to, can she speak? Came home. I did a bunch of emails, still feel crazy, and then I watched The Kardashians. I'm a pr I'm pretty much a heat watcher of The Kardashians. In the same way, like, Karda I, I watch it mostly so that I can know what Kardashian colloquium, who is the, like, person who, um, her name is MJ Corey. She, like, psychoanalyzes the show, basically. It's actually extremely fascinating, and because it's, like, a thing to have on in the background while you get ready, I was watching it. I just think it's so crazy how they talk about their bodies and how they talk about, like, showing up to how they look online. And I never really thought that I would understand. Like, I always really thought that was really problematic, the way that they do that and why they care so much about like what pictures get sent of them online. And I still do think it's problematic, but I now understand why they do it that way because having like, and I understand why they get so upset about hate. Like they're definitely out of touch. They're definitely like crazy people and have contributed some crazy shit to the world. But at the same time, getting so much hate 24 seven must be mentally devastating so like I feel for them on that I do think they need to change their ways on like a good amount of stuff but for me personally like the small minuscule 0 0.000 million percent of compared to them of hate that I get has drastically impacted my mental health and I'm not famous but to know that there are strangers who are deciding what your character is without really knowing you is always gonna be a mind fuck. And I think that they probably have that, but they've capitalized on it, so who really gives a fuck? Why are we talking about the Kardashians? That's a good question. Okay, I'm ready to go. Oh no, I'm not. Don't even have shoes on. Don't even have socks on. Morning Maddies, happy Friday. Today is Friday, post dinner, and I just went on my morning walk. Uh, like I said to you guys yesterday, I've had so much anxiety, and for me, the only way to get rid of my anxiety is movement. I like have been walking like thousands and thousands of steps every day because it's like the only thing to help me. But anyhow, I am sitting here um, before I went on my walk because so I heard someone say this recently that's like how can you not be anxious when you don't know exactly what you need to do um, and my therapist always says to me as long as you have a plan for it 
then you shouldn't be worried about it anymore. So before I went on my walk so that I could get the true like value out of it, look at this pen that I got in a PR package. So cute. Um, I wrote out my to-do list for the day. And so today's my last day of PTO. If you watched my previous vlogs, you know I took some time off because I felt like I was burning out. And I used this time to like really just half relax, half focus on my upcoming product launch. So today I wrote on this little notepad. Honestly, I think it's like perfect for me right now. It has intentions. It has a like daily plan and then it has like the tasks you need to do and it says until tomorrow which I love because prioritization and then um, gratitude and then top priorities so I have a lot of like administrative things I need to do today just so that I can feel like I'm back in like a routine next week so the first thing I want to do another shoot for the two cozy robes so I need to finish scheduling that so right now we're gonna go through together and I'm going to tell you or I'm gonna write down around how much time each of these things is gonna take so that I can like better like feel more comfortable with my day so confirming a photographer that will take me five minutes scheduling a shoot location that will take me probably 30 minutes because I need to think about that Posting on Instagram will take me 30 minutes. Posting on TikTok will take me probably 30 minutes um, since I already have the footage. And then ordering another free gift. So for Black Friday, I am going to be offering a free gift with purchase for my robes, which I'm so excited about. So I need to put the final orders in for that. But that's something that like, other people have to get back to me before I can do so it's like whenever it happens it happens but it will probably take 15 minutes answering the other people who are doing some manufacturing for me 15 minutes emails I just throw emails on here as like a 30 minute thing and then booking Soho Works podcasts and reaching out to podcast people so that will probably take me 45 minutes and then recording solo episodes will probably take me 1.5 hours so to add all of this up we have an hour and a half two hours two hours 45 minutes three hours 45 minutes four and a half hours five hours so this is a total of like five ish hours of work and then i also have meetings for an hour and a half so that's seven hours and then I also need to go look at Pantone's and that is probably a 30 minute travel each way and then an hour there so that's probably two hours so it's like fitting all of this into the day is looking a little sketchy however something that I can do is during the commute to look at Pantone's and come back that's when I can post so I'm moving those two things into when I go look at Pantone's. Pantone's, you guys know Pantone, like it's the, the, the color of the year or whatever. And when you're designing or manufacturing products, you basically have to give them a Pantone to work with. So, so far my products have just been white. And then my brand, my brand designer has like a guidebook that has like, okay, here's all of the colors that you use for your brand but those aren't Pantones. So I think it's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna go to the Pantone store today and I'm gonna have my followers vote on stories and TikTok. So that's actually perfect. So when I go look at Pantones, that takes care of posting. So right now, I need to focus on podcast outreach and scheduling my shoots, which is so fun. And then tonight, Jeff is gonna come over and we are gonna do a huge financial brainstorm because and and like look at shipping like he's more of an operational finance person and i can spend money like no other i am so fucking good at spending money and he is like girl so he is gonna come over and we're gonna have a whole brainstorm he's been so supportive in this process man like i genuinely couldn't do it without him he's so smart so i'm so happy about that but i've been talking to you for 47 fucking minutes now so, chat soon. Guys, I just got off the phone with someone who I never really thought I would ever speak to, like a type of person I never thought I would speak to. Like, I can't talk about it yet because I'm not sure what's gonna happen, but 
I just want everyone to know this piece of information right here. Do what makes you happy. Because I, when I was in college and when I started out at Google and I was working in a job I like liked but didn't love, I stayed true to like making content because I was like, period, like this is something I'm passionate about and I'm interested in. And there were so many naysayers, bro, so many. And the biggest one was me. I was the biggest fucking naysayer. Like, I didn't believe in myself and I still struggle to believe in myself so much. But when you do the reward, it's crazy. It's fucking crazy. So I just like can't even believe how like all of my stars are aligning right now. Thank God. Now, that it was just so nerve wracking. It's over now, thank God. But I am going to go look at colors for the robes. Um, I did a bunch of emails earlier. I'm gonna go look at colors for the robes and then come back and make content. Cause that's what I do too much. Okay. Chat later. Work, 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 work. got back from looking at Pantones. I feel like that could be a much easier process, but I see why I had to go in person because it's a book and you need to see them like on physical, you know, in physical life. Because if you don't, then obviously like you would just see it online. It could show up differently IRL, but having to go all the way to Midtown to see what shit looks like is completely stupid. But I just got a perishable delivery from Craig's Vegan Ice Cream. Oh my God, can you believe it? It's giving uh, LA. So I am gonna use my dish gloves to open this. It's got dry ice in it. Can't have that. Oh. Alright, I think that's everything. Jesus. They skirt me with them. Okay, so they sent over. Ooh, the Chamberlain Coffee one. The Craig's Cold Brew Coffee with Chamberlain Coffee. Kirsten's PB Crunch. I love peanut butter, so whatever that is, it's gonna be my favorite probably. And then Melrose Mint Chip. Delightful. Thank you, Craig's. Me and Jeff will definitely be taste testing these on this fine evening, this Friday evening. And then I grab Chipotle. Now I'm gonna do emails again. Good morning. We're going on a walk. I don't remember where I last chatted with you guys. But we're going on a walk. It's Outside a busy. before it gets too cold. As if we're not relocating when it gets too cold. Hey, I mean, I don't think we'll be able to do this next week. Yeah, we will. You don't think so? Yeah, it's gonna. We went to school in Chicago. We go on walks when it's cold. Times have changed. <laughs> Global warming. <laughs> oh, it's actually gonna be warm next week. Oh my god, and it's Halloween. No, never mind. My bad. Oh. The middle of the week is gonna be warmer. And then next week it's gonna be cold. Great. Well, we're going on a walk. We're going on a business brainstorming walk. She's gonna take me to Starbucks. I'm taking you. I'm taking you. Because, you know, I don't believe in spending money at Starbucks. Well, you always enjoy getting a nice uh, cappuccino, don't you? Yeah, hell yeah. But it's it's the weekend, so we can get, like, the good drinks. <laughs> That's the rule, right? <laughs> but we don't, we're just going to go on a walk. I'm having horrible stomach pain today, so I'm just hoping the walk helps. But I'm just, what are you doing over there? Popping bubble wrap? It's like having a toddler. Genuinely. I'm gonna show you my outfit. I'm just wearing the most basic outfit in the world. With my outfits. Chat later, besties. Do you have anything to say for yourself? I genuinely, I'm sorry, y'all. I know you want more Jeff content, but he really gives us nothing when the camera is on. Oh my god.
Hey baddies, it's Sunday night. Um, I was watching Aaliyah's Faces vlog while I was making dinner and I was like, OMG, I'm a YouTuber as well, I need to vlog. So it's the Sunday night before I go back to work after taking two weeks off. And that is so like surreal to say out loud. Like I'm so grateful I got to take time off. I really needed it, but I'm really, a little overwhelmed about going back, but I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to think about it. So I'm making chicken soup for dinner. I do it a lazy way. Um, <coughs> like I've been there, I've made the chicken soup where I make the broth from scratch and everything and whatever, but I have better things to do with my time and so do you, so you know. Also, robe, how good is this? So the last one, you guys know the one I've you've been seeing up until now has been like one of the original samples, not the finished one. And so this one, which is the real one that you will get if you ordered it. Shout out to you girl if you ordered the robe. Period, love you. Um, this one, the sleeves come up a lot more easily to your elbows. So that's what it actually looks like. I'm making chicken soup and basically being lazy as fuck. So, the way I make chicken soup is first you add the chicken to the pot, you sear it on both sides so that you can get a little bit of the chicken fat and stuff out, and then you sear it in butter on both sides. I might add some seasoning to it too. And then I add the rest of the stuff, but the point is I don't chop any of it myself now because I'm lazy. I don't make the broth myself now because I'm lazy, but let me tell you something about this broth right now. I am sick. So, today I went to brunch with my friends, Sherrod and Tyler, my guy friends, and then we went, and then they went to go play basketball, and I went to go get my lashes done. They look so good. So happy. Then I was like, oh, I'm, I'm listening to a book about self-discipline, um, Ryan Holiday's book, new book, I don't remember, Discipline is Destiny is what it's called. And so I was like, oh, let me go grocery shopping because that's, you know, one of my goals. Okay, it's too loud to be in here. I was like, that's one of my goals that I've been real, doing really well on, like eating at home, right? So I pop on over to Miss Trader Joe's, Mr. Trader Joe's, you could say, and I'm, it's Sunday afternoon shopping at Trader Joe's. You may as well just ask to fail, honestly. But I was in such a good mood, I was feeling so positive, and they had pretty much everything I needed except for chicken broth, so I'm like, great, I've got everything I need, I just need to pop by the other grocery store and grab some chicken broth. Chicken broth is usually like two or three dollars, so I'm like, perfect, and my Trader Joe's total was thirty dollars, and I'm like, yes, bitch, she's recession proof, she's getting that to her shit. Tell me what I'm checking out at the grocery store. I'm checking out, and they said, my total is $35, and all I have in there is some sparkling water and some chicken broth. And I said, what? Why was the chicken broth $8 each? $8? $8 each. You've gotta be fucking lying. What the hell? This better be the best fucking chicken soup I've ever had in my life. Also, I don't get it, is it inflation? And then I looked at the box, it says chicken bone broth, so maybe it's like better for you than regular chicken broth. I couldn't like leave in that moment, so I had to buy it and spent another $35. $8, like that's, I could have bought a whole meal elsewhere with that money. So sick. Anyway, that was my story. I forgot what else I was going to talk to you guys about. But yeah, so now I'm making chicken chicken soup. Um, anyway, I'm so excited to go back to L.A. I think I've said that multiple times in this vlog because at least I felt it. But I love New York. I'm having the best time. However, there's too many fucking people here. Too many. Truly, like, I'm good. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go be in L.A. and enjoy myself. So, yeah. Jeff is going to come over for dinner. I, like... We're getting so 
nesty in the summer, in the fall times. Like, we're spending so much time together. And, like, I love it. Love him so much. But, like, bro, I know that I need to, like, stay. Because I know that I do better with my routines when he doesn't sleep over and when he's not there. But then I'm like, but I miss him. So, yeah. He's coming over for dinner because I missed him. <laughs> and then... I am excited when we go to LA, he's coming with me for a long time, so that'll be nice. And we'll have way more space. But I miss my LA apartment. I'm so excited to go back. And I'm gonna go back for, I think, like four straight months. So I am enjoying New York. I love it here. I love the fall vibes. But I don't love, like, it's like every day there's an event, every day there's something to do, every day there's like something going on, whatever. And so I feel so much pressure all the time. But now it's like, okay, I'm ready to go back to like LA and hibernate and or and slash make new friends. So two more weeks here, which is fine. But yeah, so we're cooking dinner and then um, I'm going to watch Potomac probably. What time is it? Alexa, what time is it? It's 6.53 p.m. Yeah, so I think Potomac comes out at 8. And then I am going to go through my work emails and like categorize them while I'm watching Potomac so that I don't feel like so crazy tomorrow morning so that I can just get started on my work. So, peace and blessings. Hello friends. It is Monday afternoon. Why am I in a robe? Because I just had a meeting with my manufacturing partners. I'm also wash testing our new terry cloth version right now. So just so you guys know, I developed a terry cloth version of the robe initially because i was like i kind of want to start with terry cloth but once i got it back and washed it a few times it just did not hold up well and i was like mm, it's a no so we got this new fabric that's genuinely incredible like i'm obsessed with it but i need to wash test it prior to actually releasing it because i don't i want to be sure that it's like you know, perfect and that it's gonna like last a really long time and that after you wash it the first time, you're not like, what the hell is this? So I also got a new tripod, again, also from Nikon. So let's hope that it actually freaking works here. Okay, are you gonna work? Let's hope so. So I gotta see what the wash instructions are. So it's Monday, it's 5 p.m. and I am back at work this week, which is, Humiliating. I had a thousand and like 200 emails today. I reviewed a bunch of stuff and like luckily didn't have any meetings and my manager is on site at an event in Europe. So he's not like on my ass today, thank God. But tomorrow is a big long day and then I have an event tomorrow night. So I was gonna go into the office. Basically we have meeting rooms in our office and you book the meeting rooms for your meetings. Duh. And they cleared out all of like the cons the meeting rooms that we had booked prior. So I used to have a standing meeting room booked for all of my standing meetings. But they got rid of them while I was on PTO. And of course there are no meetings available anymore in the building, no meeting rooms available. So I'm like, why do I even go in if there's gonna be nowhere for me to sit and meet people? I'm gonna have to like scramble. So I don't really know, but I'm looking for wash instructions. I just washed the other row because I got it dirty, but let's see what the vibes are. What are the wash instructions? Cool or warm water? Okay, line dry. All right, so I'm gonna do, it's a terry cloth version. I'm doing it alone. I'm gonna do it on delicate and see how that goes. Let's hope it works. So I feel like whites need to be on them. So, yep, that's good to go. I prepped all my posts and I posted today. I'm proud of myself. I'm like really killing my to-do list right now. It's giving productivity queen and I'm basically pretty much done, but my phone is almost dead and it's time to work out now. So I'm going to work out and then I'm going to come back up here and probably do some like creative brainstorming because I want to get like my brand. I feel like I love my social media manager. She's an icon, she's a legend, she's so cute, but I want my brand to feel more like me. I don't feel like I'm getting like the funny sarcastic part. I feel like I've struggled to get the funny sarcastic version of me 
out on social media for a long time but I really want my brand to embody that so I want to like put together like more direction for her tonight so after I work out so I'll hopefully get some fucking endorphins that's probably what I'll do but I am just y'all being productive is exhausting but the chicken noodle soup I made yesterday bussin like the bone broth made a difference so we love that Huge fan, but now it's time to work out. I'm taking care of myself. Hey, besties, guess who just got promoted? Me, bitch. Period. 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 The vibes are so great right now. I found out today I got promoted to a new level, so at Google, they like literally refuse to change your title. That's why. Like, 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 ever. Like, nobody has a cool title, so I have the same title. But I just get paid more. It's giving financial abundance. Um, I'm so excited. I'm really happy. I worked so hard the past two years, so it's just nice to know that that was appreciated. I, I have been doing well in my role, so I didn't think that, like, oh, I won't get promoted. But I do think it's important to mention, like, I started at Google in a completely different organization. I started working at Google in ads as a marketer. And that is a prestigious program. Everybody loves it, marketing manager, but I didn't have a good experience in it. And it wasn't right for my skills. Mine, just me, period. Other people love it for them, but not for me. So I eventually um, was able to transition into my role working at YouTube, working with creators, which was my dream since I was like 15, like I'm having the best time of my life, period, which was so, so, so exciting. And after I, when I left the APMM program, people were like, well, it might stunt your ability to get promoted because you won't be able to like get promoted when you're in, like when you're changing, not just like teams, because if I had stayed in marketing and moved around, my promotion probably still would have come at this time. But since I switched to strategy, which is a different ladder, they were like, mm, like, you know, you might like not get promoted as quickly. But I did because you want to know what? I'm good at my job. Period. So I'm so excited. It was like expected. Obviously, my manager's been transparent with me. You know, he's the best manager ever. I'm like the luckiest girl in the world. But you know, I'm just so happy. And I'm much happier than I thought I was because I've been like, this has been on my vision board. I've been like expecting this to happen for a while, but I didn't expect to feel so like happy and proud of myself. So I'm really happy now. It makes me kind of want to like go out to dinner with Jeff tonight and stuff. And also today it was supposed to be rainy and cloudy and it's literally the sun is shining, looking stunning, beautiful, gorgeous. It's 5 p.m. I am about to go on a walk and then I'm going to come back and get ready and go to my friend's event for Ian Charms. And it's going to be stunning. Yeah. Can't wait. So excited. Yeah. Like now I'm like, oh, should I treat myself to something? But... I just feel like I'm so content with my life right now. Like, the best thing that could happen to me next is, like, my robes sell really well. So, since I've gotten, since I get everything I want, let's just hope it works out. Period. Peace out. Boy, she not a choice. Just roll myself a day and count my biggest shit. Just that stepping out, I feel like I'm that biggest shit. Drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit yeah. If I catch you not enough, then it's gon' be some shit well, You can do what you wanna, live how you wanna Spin what you wanna, be who you wanna Good morning, my friends We're back in the same location 12 hours later Or 14 hours later I'm heading to the office today For the first time in a long time, honestly and I am going because I have a lot, uh, I don't have too many meetings today and I've been like strategically doing this. Here's a little tip for you. So I used to have like meetings like on Monday, on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, just like a lot of them. And then I eventually found that like when I had too many meetings, too many days in a row it just started to burn me out with everything else I have going on so I started like strategically t time blocking my t my meetings so that 
I wouldn't have too many like three days back to back because at that point like when are you supposed to work you know and Friday never feels like you want to work Monday always feels overwhelming so I've tried to like really scale back on the amount of meetings I have on Wednesdays um, so that I can like really dive into my work so I'm popping into the office I'm gonna get a green juice gonna get a coffee I feel like all my clothes here just like I don't have honestly it's the shoes it's that I don't have the right shoes for anything and the clothes I do have here need to be steamed so I tried to steam with my steamer this morning and tell me why the steamer like literally doesn't work and I think ruined my new Abercrombie pants but I'm not letting that little thing get me down today I also woke up late today but I know that if I like tell myself oh like, because I used to do this 24-7. Like, one thing went wrong in my day, and I was use it as an excuse to not get anything else done that day and to just be, like, a lazy piece of shit. Hold on, let me get it. So, yeah, I would, like, as soon as one bad thing happened, I would be like, oh, okay, the day is ruined. But now I'm like, okay, we're getting the bad shit out early. We're getting the bad shit figured out earlier in the day. We love to see it. So, um... Yeah, I'm choosing to have a good day today. I got three podcast recordings scheduled for Monday, which is great. Um, it's my first time I'm going to be doing them at Soho House, which is sort of the main reason I ended up applying to Soho House. I applied in like May of this year, um, and I've been a member for like two months, but I applied because every podcast recording studio in New York City is the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. And I'm not about to have that anywhere. So that's why I haven't had video for my podcast is because everywhere is ugly. But then I got the Soho House membership and you can book rooms and use podcast equipment there. So I booked three recordings for Monday and then I have one this Thursday, so tomorrow. Um, and I think it's going to be great. And I'm going to film and I'm going to have people and I'm going to give them their robes. So I'm excited. So now that I'm ready to go, it's like, do I put on makeup? I don't think I'm going to put on makeup today crazy I'm gonna wear it tomorrow but it's just like at this point I'm probably not gonna see anybody at the fucking office because the way things are but I am ready to go and let me do my brows but this was a cute fun vlog for us I'm gonna have to end the vlog here but I would love, if you've made it this far, for you all to leave a comment on your favorite part of the vlog, what you want to see. Please tell me what you want to see more of and what you want to see less of. Um, any feedback is greatly appreciated because I really want to up my YouTube game this year, especially for 2023. Like, that's just a goal for me. Um, I, like, kind of made the decision yesterday because... Um, you guys know, like, I started as a TikToker, and, like, TikTok is driving me crazy. I haven't had a video do well in months, and that's okay. Like, it's fine, but it's just hard because there's no consistency there. And I already don't really feel connected to my community on there. I feel much more connected to you all, so I'm really upping my YouTube game. So any feedback, anything you want to see, let me know, and I got you. So... We'll chat soon. Love you. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget, you're too smart to not love yourself. Sign up down below for, to be on the wait list for the robes. They return October or November 15th. Yay! Okay, and I'll chat with you soon.